Hi everyone, today we're going to make barbecue tempeh and coleslaw from the awesome vegan blog Nora Cooks, norahcooks.com. I highly recommend you subscribe to her weekly recipes. She's amazing. So this is the first time we've used tempeh in any of my videos. So I use this three grain organic tempeh from Trader Joe's and tempeh like tofu is made from soybeans. So it's full of protein and fiber. All right, so this is what it looks like once you take it out of the package. This is a three grain. And we're gonna go ahead and cube it. So you can just cut it into thirds and then cut it in. I like to cut it smaller. You could do larger cubes than that. Now, Nora has another recipe using these Butler soy curls that I also wanted to show you, which are soy. And it's more of a sloppy joe. And so a lot of people like those soy curls. They're non-GMO. You can order them directly from the Butler website or on Amazon. So you could use either one, whichever you like. Okay, so we're going to just cut this. Again, this package has 40 grams of protein. I hope everybody has seen the movie Game Changers. It talks about plant-based protein for athletes, for Olympians. It's very inspiring. It's on Netflix. Getting tons and tons of press and helping a lot of people go plant-based. All right, so come on over here to the stove. So we're actually gonna steam it. This is a cup of water. This is the recommendation from Nora. And we're going to steam it to help get rid of the bitterness. And she said, do not skip this step. So we're gonna take her advice. All right, I'm gonna turn up the heat and let that steam. To again, help get the bitterness off, and then we're gonna make the coleslaw, which is so easy. This whole meal is so easy, and we love easy. So she says just buy ready-made coleslaw, and I'm all for that. If you spend a lot of time shopping in your kitchen, you understand. So this is just a Kroger brand of mixed shredded cabbage and carrots. Now, a lot of them have seasoning packets already. Don't do that. They cost more and you don't need it. So make sure there's no hidden little dressings or anything because you don't need it. You're going to make your own. I think I don't even need that. She says five cups. This is, this is more than that. I'm going to at least do half. My husband and I both love it. Okay. Just do the whole thing. Yeah. Let's just do the whole thing because we can we can eat on it. Now the one thing with this, you do want to make it two hours in advance. You want it to marinate in the refrigerator. Alright, so we've got our coleslaw, and then now I just need one more bowl. We're going to make our sauce. So we're going to use a half a cup of vegan mayo. There are lots of different vegan mayos. This is best foods. I get it at Ralph's. There's just mayo, probably follow your heart has a mayo, so it's just up to you. And check the back, because sometimes people are sensitive to certain oils and they all use different oils. So this is a half a cup, and I may need more since I use so much cabbage. And if you're really cutting back on oil, you could do less. But since I'm using all of this beautiful cabbage, and cabbage doesn't always last that long in the fridge, so you could just use it all up. Now we're going to do two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. Bragg's. I'm just going to give it, it has the mother in it. Give it a little soy here. Do one. And just finish it off. Two. And then it also has... A little bit of sugar, which you can skip. It has two tablespoons of sugar. 
I'm just going to do, I'm going to do two tablespoons. How about three? <laughs> and start with that, just to reduce it a little bit. Yeah, I'm intentionally using a teaspoon. I'm trying to cut it down. Okay, then we're going to use a little bit. Oh, well, that's it. You can add salt, but I'm not sure we're going to need it. So, oh, and the other optional ingredient, excuse me, is celery seed. together and then we're going to stick it in the fridge so you're going to be able to serve this the to uh, excuse me the tempeh you can serve it by itself you can put it on a bun that's what she does with the soy curls and then add a little coleslaw to the bun make it like a sloppy joe or it can just be two sides and you can add some other dishes like Brussels sprouts or mashed potatoes to it. Okay. So we could add more, but I think I'll be okay. I don't like things super creamy. Even before I was vegan, I was never a dairy person, like ranch and sour cream and things like that, mayonnaise. So it just depends. My husband was, so he loves all that blue cheese, all that stuff that was. But I like to go light light on the creaminess. So this actually worked out really well. And this is about 10 cups of cabbage. The recipe is five. So it just depends how how creamy you want your coleslaw. So we're going to stick that in the fridge. And now let's go check our tempeh, which is roaring over here. Hopefully it's fine. Okay. <gasps> Thank God. All right. So we're evaporating a lot of the oil. Now you can add two tablespoons of oil and fry it. I'm choosing to not fry it and go straight for the sauce, which is what she says you can do in the directions if you're not using oil. And you can always start with a couple teaspoons of oil instead of a couple tablespoons of oil, like I just did with the sugar. I like to reduce things when I can. You normally can't tell that big a difference. But we're going to skip the oil all together this time and just go for the sauce. So I was excited. Nora Cooks recommends Trader Joe's Organic Kansas City Barbecue Sauce. Now, I actually lived in Kansas City for 15 years before coming to San Diego. And even though I wasn't a barbecue eater, I'm excited to try the sauce because I'm sure it's amazing. So she recommends you can use the whole jar, the whole 18 ounces. But let's see how it goes here. I'm hoping we don't need the whole thing. Let me start with that and see. But in my opinion, practically everything in barbecue sauce is going to be a home run. <laughs> now I could have diced these even smaller. And you could even add in a can of lentils. The simple truth organic already ready made lentils and then it could be more sloppy joe-esque so definitely cover them with the barbecue sauce <coughs> and then it's gonna need to simmer here for a bit I'd say about 10 minutes let's see it looks like it does need a little bit more Just to get it really coated and covered. All right. We're going to let that simmer. I'm going to turn the heat down and we'll be back. Okay, 
so we let this simmer for about 10 minutes, and I only ended up using half a jar of the barbecue sauce. She said you could use the whole thing, so that's up to you. And now we're going to go ahead and plate it. Always add, always add more sauce if you want. Okay, and then we're going to add the coleslaw. So again, I'm combining two of her recipes. She usually uses the slaw with the soy curls like a sloppy joe. But we're just going to do this as a little side dish. And of course, you could add whatever other vegetable you'd like, potatoes or Brussels sprouts. All right. And it's kind of nice to just eat it together. Savory and a little sweet together. So that's Nora's Cook, barbecue tofu, excuse me, barbecue tepe with vegan coleslaw. And then I'd like to show you the movie Game Changers that's on Netflix streaming right now which is directed by James Cameron from the Titanic. So this is my all-time favorite plant-based vegan movie featuring vegan Olympians and athletes and the power of plants, debunking the myth that people need animals to be strong. So I hope you'll watch it. Thank you always for liking and subscribing and saving animals with your food choices. If you have any recipes out there you'd like me to veganize, please put it in the comments. Thank you.